What's going on guys? It's David here. Welcome to another devotional Saturday. Well, you know, um, time is ticking. It's going by so fast and God has given us uh, each individual gifts uh, to use while we're here on this earth for the advancement of his kingdom. So for today's devotional, I want to go over uh, G one of Jesus' parables. And it's the parable of the talent. And Jesus says, again, it will be like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted his property to them. To one he gave five talents of money, to another two talents, and to another one talent, each according to his ability. Then he went on his journey. The man who had received the five talents went at once and put his money to work and gained five more. So also the one with two talents gained two more. But the man who had received the one talent went off, dug a hole in the ground, and hid his master's money. After a long time, the master of those servants returned and settled accounts with them. The man who had received the five talents brought the other five. Master, he said, you entrusted me with five talents. See, I have gained five more. His master replied, well done, good and faithful servants. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. The man with the two talents also came. Master, he said, you entrusted me with two talents. See, I have gained two more. His master replied, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. Then the man who had received one talent came. Master, he said, I knew that you are a hard man, harvesting where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered seed. So I was afraid and I went out and hid your talent in the ground. See, here's what belongs to you. His master replied, You wicked, lazy servant, so you knew that I harvest where I have not sown and gather where I have not scattered seed? Well, then, you should have put my money on deposit with the bankers so that when I returned, I would have received it back with interest. Take the talent from him and give it to the one who has ten talents, for everyone who has will be given more, and he will have an abundance. Whoever does not have, even what he has will be taken from him. And throw that worthless servant outside into the darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. So I love that because God gives us each individual talents. Some evangelists, some pastors, teachers, encouragers, show hospitality. He gives us these gifts that we need to be using here on this earth for the advancement of his kingdom. So what are you doing with the gifts that he's given to you? Are you like the one guy? Are you going out there? Are you planting, um, using those gifts to get more, to bring people in? Or are you like the man with one talent? He, he was nervous. He was afraid of him. And so he went and he hid that talent somewhere and I'm not going to do anything with it. But when God calls him to an account, what are you going to say? Are you going to say, well, I hid it, you know, because I was, I, you, I was fearful. So I hid it here. Or are you going to say, no, I've, I've, I've gained five more for you. So that's what I want you to think about this day. He's given us, again, um, I have a group of evangelists that I go out with for my church. They're great. Uh, they get the gift of, of evangelism, the gift of hospitality, the gift of prayer and encouragement. And not only does it end there, but the church, we have a great pastor. Uh, we have people who are teachers there. And it's just filled with many people with many gifts who are using them. So I want you to go about this week thinking about, have you been using the gifts, the talents, that the Lord has been giving you, or have you been putting them in the, have you been burying them in the yard? Just right down here, burying them. So when he calls you home, you'll be like, hey, here's here's your talent. Here's your one talent you gave to me. Um, you know, I, I didn't want to do anything with it, but I was afraid, so I gave it back to you. Here it is. Don't be that guy, okay? Go out there, spread the word, overcome your fears. And you know what? You may never overcome them, but you can put them aside and love people more and share Jesus with these people. Okay, so that's what I got for you guys today. Go back and read it. Go back and read the parable of the talents. It's Matthew 25, verses 14 uh, through 30. Um, and, and dwell on it and see where you at on there. So that's what I got for you guys till day. Till next time, I love you. Peace. I'm out.